ask Portlanders to wait for the outcome of the official investigations. I'll continue to wait on passing judgment until I have all the facts. I'm still waiting for the outcome of those investigations, which I expected to be confidential and swift, and they've been neither. I want to ask the media that if those investigations determine that some of what has been printed about Chief O'Day's conduct turns out to be not true, I would ask you to be as energetic in clearing his name as you have been in smearing it. Chief O'Day recognizes the strain on the Bureau and the need to move forward, and now is the time to make a fresh start. Chief O'Day is retiring. He could have taken retirement when I appointed him, but he chose to serve as Chief. He thought about what was best for the Bureau then, and he's acting in the best interest of the Bureau and the City again, taking retirement. Let's remember who Chief O'Day is, a man who has given 30 years of service to the Portland Police Bureau and to our city, who has 11 medals and 75 letters of commendation to his name and to his record. As Chief, he's been committed to diversifying the Bureau to reflect the city that it serves. He's advanced our strategic equity plan. He advanced equity training. He's recruited new officers with diverse demographic and national backgrounds. As chief, he's been committed to community outreach and openness. You know, I think some of you remember he created a Muslim Advisory Committee, Muslim Advisory Council recently, similar to some other community advisory councils that we had. And that gathering of Muslims was the most diverse gathering of Muslims outside of Mecca, according to one of the participants in that meeting. He has worked really hard at representing the new Portland in how the Bureau operates. 